we met at Wodonga High School. Mm. Yep. I remember someone saying to me, describing Claire, she was at the swimming pool and said that English lady, and I didn't know what he was talking about, but I had to find Claire for some reason. The English lady with a big white hat. I, I 88, you... I think. No. 88? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I started there in 88, you were there in 87. Yeah. Mm. But I'm was sure. it recession dinner time at 88? Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe 89. Maybe 89. Mm. Yeah, possibly. I, I'm, I can't remember the sort of years, but I know Jack was born in 92, so therefore, you know, it had developed by then. Um, so, well, Kent and I separated. We <laughs> were really cautious to begin with because, you know, we were both teachers in the school and we, we knew people knew us around. So I had very strict guidelines around what Rod, you know, he was, he was allowed to come over on a Wednesday. And that was it. <laughs> well, I think Wednesday might have been because Kent and that, um, you know, we had Anna, and and maybe Anna went to Kent's on a Wednesday. It could have been, you know, something like that. I don't even remember how you gradually moved in. Well, we went to the Walnuts that weekend. Oh yeah, we went to the Walnuts. Well, the Walnuts was a camping place, and we went there with a whole group of friends. And by this time, I was on my own, and you no, know, Rod was already on his own. I took a tent because it was in one package, but I didn't take the tent poles. It was sort of a, one of those dome mm. tents. So I couldn't put my tent up. And um, Rod had this terrible tent. He said, well, you can come and share my tent. And so I, and it was sort of something that you had to put a pole up in the middle and everything was sagging around it. Well, at least I had tent poles. But he had got tent yeah. poles. <laughs> anyway, so we shared the tent. And that was, so that was it really. That, that was, was it. When we were that close together in a tent, we decided yeah. it was it. So oh, there was definitely some chemistry yeah, 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 that we were being, yeah. I can't remember if the Wednesday started before or after that. Actually, I think I might have been renting my house to Kent. But... <laughs> That's right. That's right, you did. <laughs> yeah, it was all very amicable. And then okay. um, I was pregnant with Jack. I suddenly decided I wanted to go back to England. I taught in the UK and Anna went to school there and then Rod came across and joined us. And then we had about, so we had about three months there mm. together and then Rod came home by Canada and I was, I was, well, I was quite serious. pregnant. Mm. I was lucky that um, Alitali would still let us fly quite late and I came home before you mm. and then... Um, and I got here a couple of weeks later there. but then you were still had about four weeks to go or something. Yeah, I think you'd be yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I reckon it's a, it's a success. Mm, right. I reckon it's all down to not getting married. Because I always thought that, um, you know, you need to... If you didn't marry and rely on the legality that tied you together, you would be more drawn to focus on your relationship and tend it. So that was my thinking. Uh, I don't know whether that's got anything to do with it or not really, but Claire didn't want to get married and uh, I did ask you a couple of times and you said no, you hadn't found the right person. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. So yeah, but um, yeah, we generally been pretty good. Yeah, we do different things but we do similar things too. We sort of go along and then we deviate and then we come back and deviate and come back and I think we're still sort of heading in the same direction but we have detours. Hmm. I don't know, I haven't thought about it till just then. I've got a different view of what marriage is all about to Rod. I think, I think your job as a marriage or a partner is, um, is to sort of um, help each other to grow. Mm. And, um, and so, you know, that's what I... I so I, I think it's good to have discussions about things that are perhaps uncomfortable and and you know, we, Rod calls them arguments, I call them discussions. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, whereas I think you, you think maybe a successful partnership is to just all be together and ho, ho, ho. But I probably less, you like robust discussions more than I do, mm -hmm. because I tend to think they might be furious arguments. I mean, some of us talk about being in furious agreement. Yeah, we once had a family live with us and um, they said they would sometimes point out to us that we were both furiously agreeing with each other. I'm sometimes a bit rude. No, I'm 
Yeah, you're not rude, Rollo. You're just exasperating. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm exasperated. <laughs> that there are times when things happen and you ne I need to push through them to understand what it is that, mm. you know, is driving Rod's worry or, you know, not wanting to do something or wanting to do something. I need to... I need to understand it because that's part of growing together. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, and I have a bit of a different view because Claire was saying, I just want to understand it. Whereas I often think Claire, all Claire wants to do is keep pursuing it so that she can make me change my mind. <laughs> she doesn't agree. What we, what we do next could be something that makes us grow apart because Rod really wants to stay here. And while I understand that, I just don't want to be the old person who's living in a place that they can't cope with and you know it's all falling apart around them and um, so I don't want to do that no matter what and so we've got mm. to the point a few years ago when I said to Rod right well I'm going to go and live in Beechworth and you can carry on here and you can come and see me on Wednesday Full circle. <laughs> yeah. yeah I hadn't realised that before I don't like being here on my own because mm. it's if I mean, I don't mind, some, I didn't mind the other day when he went, but um, if it's for a while, it, it nearly always something goes wrong. I think we've come up with a raise or sort of compromise at the moment. I want the next stage to be kind of an adventure. I don't want it to be something that um, I have to sort of do because I'm not coping. And I mm. want to do it before I, before I don't cope. Mm. And it to be fun. And I could easily end up thinking, you know, I, I, I can imagine thinking, oh, I just can't be bothered to move. I'll just stay here and let it all go ramshackle around me if I leave it a lot longer. That's why I'm saying to Rod, 75, I want to be, I want to be doing something about making mm. life easier to be old in. I think we're similar in that way. I don't want to be tied to the place where I feel I'm working here 10 hours a day. Seven days a week. I want to do other things. I just really like our community, mm. and we do enjoy being in our community, it. and mm. and um, would like to stay in that if we yeah. can. Very lucky. We live in a, a brilliant community, really. Mm. And look, last night we were at the um, group I ride with the Yobos. Do yak and down to yeah. old boys biking on Sundays. <laughs> well, the only thing that I'm really enjoying since we've been retired, we do yoga together, exercise class on Monday morning and Pilates on Friday morning and we do that so we're doing exercises together mm. and that's really good fun isn't it mm. yeah increasingly conscious that we're lucky to be together and we're lucky to be healthy mm. Mm.